kick this out, and first thing you're taught when getting a single leg is you want to circle behind them. You want to circle around. You want to get your takedown. So a lot of times I do this to people, and that's the first thing they do. Also, takes a bunch of pressure off their shoulder. So that feels like it feels a lot better. It feels right. It feels like the way they're supposed to go. And you know, if I let go, it looks like I'm in pretty bad position right now. It looks like I'm about to get scored on. So I get this. He circles around like he's like he's about to score a takedown. I'm gonna kick this leg over top, roll through, and wrap his wrist. I'm gonna hold this here. Gonna get five points. Let him roll through. I'm gonna kick my leg over. Come through right there. So, guess you know, now it'll put her. So here, go through like that. Locking on his own wrist. Locking on his wrist, grabbing my own shin. From here, I'm gonna be outside. He's probably gonna be flailing around. Sometimes he'll post this leg. When he posts that, you kick it out. Basically, let him off whenever you want to get off, like whenever you want. So, you know, you sit there the whole period if you want. But, um, so, go through a little bit slower, a little bit more detail. So, we're here in the shin wizard. I'm pressuring down really hard here. I'm trying to break that lock as much as I can. If he has this lock, it's not a big deal. That's usually when they'll circle the hardest because they think they're still going to score. Now, every coach, you know, every coach will be in the corner screaming. Circle around, get your two. So you're here, they're circling around, and as soon as he steps around this foot, that's when you that's when you know it's um it's pretty much over for him. You, you can you can roll this. So once you once he steps around, you can kick your free leg just over top. I like to even kind of use it as like a counterweight, like I'm gonna keep it's gonna bring me over. So I kick it way over top. Some people just kind of leave it hanging here, but you know, personal preference, I guess. When you're doing that, after you kick it over, you're gonna reach your free hand in and try to grab that one of his um the hand that's trapped right here. You're gonna grab that wrist. So you're gonna be here. You're gonna kick it over. And he's gonna be pretty pretty well trapped here. The thing is trapping him. You got this arm, you got this leg that's on top of him. You're getting points because it's your move, and then this is stopping him from going really anywhere. So this will be a really frustrating one for a lot of people to learn. Um, it takes a lot of practice. It's not something you're just gonna like hit one time and then just you know know it right away. So. I'll go through it one more time. Um, key things, it's all in this key lock. It's this big thing. Like, you gotta have a lot of pressure on the shoulder. You gotta keep his head down. That's another big one that I really don't think I emphasize enough. So he's in on the shot. If I'm letting him get his head up, and I'm just pressuring down like this, I'm not in a good spot. I mean, I've done this move for a while now, so like, I might, might get lucky. But um, I really wanna make sure I'm drag, if he does start coming off, this is, we're gonna be here, I'm gonna start dragging. Kinda like that rubber knee, I'm gonna start dragging, I'm gonna make sure as soon as his head hits the mat, I'm covering over top of him. I'm getting all this pressure on the shoulder again, keeping that head down. <clears throat> and if, usually he's gonna circle around. We'll work on it that, this way for now. Once you guys get better at it, you can start doing it. Um, start circling your own leg in there, even though he's not circling, it'll, it'll be, the same exact thing. So he's circling around, circling around, trying to score. As soon as he does that, kick the leg over, reach it between his legs, grab his wrist, hold it right there, get your points. All right, everyone got that?